It's now winter time, and so it's time for my video on picking out winter fruit, picking the best, ripest, sweetest, and healthiest. They all end up being the same thing. You want ripe fruit because that's going to be the healthiest for you. Unripe fruit can actually give you problems. It's especially true for citrus fruits because they are acidic. It's, so it's important to get citrus fruit that is tree ripe and has fallen naturally. And I'm excited about this because just it was just last winter that I realized you can tell in the supermarket whether a fruit was has fallen from a tree or was picked because if you pick an orange sometimes some, some of the stem will come with it and if it falls naturally it won't leave anything at the base of the fruit check this out these fruits came from the store and you can see here there's this thing that's left of leaves, but this one does not have that. Nothing there at the base. It's a hole there. I've done my share of citrus foraging, and I, I have to skip them off the ground, and they are just like this. Next fruit. Also an exciting one, apples. All right. Some people have never had a real, naturally sweet apple. That's because most of the ones in the store are hard. So I can feel that this is hard, and you can also hear when you tap it. You can hear the the tone of the sound. That's kind of high. Now listen to this. That's super right. <laughs> it's really dull. And you can see wrinkles on this. Usually supermarket fruit is not so ripe. You gotta go to smaller places. Got these at the 99 cent store. Let's go to the 99 cent store. Let's go to the 99 cent store. These are just about the best apples I have ever tasted. Pears tend to ripen pretty well, even when they start out hard. Again, you just look for softness. Softness will most be notable around the top. I, I sometimes just squeeze a little bit, and you can feel wrinkles. Squeeze your fingers together. Sometimes you can see wrinkles wrinkly at the top. And that's good. Okay, avocados are in season right now, I guess, because they're cheap. <laughs> and again, you want these to be a little soft, but not too soft. With apples, they can just get older and softer, and they're still good. Again, just like with pears, avocados are softest at the top. You will notice the softness there first. But you still want them to be kind of firm if they're too if they're too soft. They can be rotten inside, but not always. And if you live within 500 miles of Mexico, papayas are in season. They can be pretty tricky sometimes. Now this one's green, so it's not ripe. You're going to want a good color or an orange. Let's see, there's some orange. Yeah, this darkness. There's yellow. And here's some orange. There's some dark spots, which are a good sign. Of course, softness is essential. These, this one's getting there. This one's pretty hard still. Very important. Now this one is orange, but it's 
It's kind of an off orange color. Now I've noticed this in the last year or two. Some some crummy ones. <laughs> and this is it's just weird. And it's got the, this weird smell and you're just gonna have to learn for yourself. But it's just a little difference. Hey. It's hard. I, see, I'm still buying them because <laughs> I still haven't learned what to look for and what to avoid. I don't know what else is in the season, but I know I've been getting grapes. Those should be firm. You want to examine the bag really well. This one, one broken one can spoil half the bunch there. Remember, just because it's winter, don't stop eating fruit. We're not meant to be living in the winter. <laughs> meant for the tropics. Keep eating fruit. Keep exercising. Use the energy of life that you're getting. Hakuna Matata and keep on living it infinitely. And thumbs up. <laughs>